Welcome to the channel English Grammar and Composition. I am Dr. B.K. Jha. Today I am speaking on the summary of Indigo for the students of class 12th. Introduction about the author. The story is based on the interview taken by Louis Frischer of Mahatma Gandhi. In order to write on him, he had visited him in 1942 at his ashram Shivagram, where he was told about the Indigo movement started by Gandhiji. The story revolves around the struggle of Gandhi and other prominent leaders in order to safeguard sharecroppers from the atrocities of landlords. Indigo Summary This prose is a conversation between Louis Fischers, who meets Gandhi in 1942 at his ashram in Sevagram. Gandhi tells author Louis Fisher that how he has initiated the departure of the British from India. Gandhi recalled that a former named, farmer named Rajkumar Sukla in 1917 came to meet him and requested him to visit Champaran to see the problems of sharecropper being faced by them. Gandhi had gone to Lucknow to attend the annual meeting of Indian National Congress in the year 1916. Sukla told him that he had come from Champaran to seek his help in order to safeguard the interests of the sharecroppers. Gandhi told him that he was busy, so Sukla accompanied him to various places till he consented to visit Champaran. His firm decision impressed Gandhiji and he promised him that he would visit Calcutta at a particular date. Then Sukla should come and take him to Champaran. Sukla met him at Calcutta and they took a train to Patna. In Patna, Gandhi went to meet Lair, Rajendra Prasad's horse and they waited for him. In order to know the complete situation, he reached Mujapurpur on 15th April 1917. He was welcomed by Professor J.B. Kriplani and his students. Gandhi was surprised to see the big support for an advocate of home rule like him. He also met some lawyers who were already handling cases of sharecroppers. As per the contract, 15% of the pigeon's land holding was to be reserved for cultivation of indigo. The crop of which was given to the landlord as rent. This system was very operative. Gandhi wanted to help the sharecroppers. Therefore, he visited the British Landlord Association, but he was not given any information because he was an outsider. He then went to the commissioner of Tirhut Division who threatened Gandhi and asked him to leave Tirhut. Instead of returning, he went to Motihari. Here he started gathering complete information about the Indigo contract. He was accompanied by many liars. One day, as he was on his way to meet a pigeon who was maltreated by the Indigo planters, he was stopped by the police superintendent's messenger who served him a notice asking him to leave. 
Gandhi received the notice but disobeyed the order. A case was filed against him. Many lawyers came to advise him, but when he stressed, they all joined his struggle and even consented to go to jail in order to help the poor peasants. On the day of trial, a large crowd gathered near the court. It became possible to handle them. Gandhi helped the officers to control the crowd. Gandhi gave his statement that he was not a lawbreaker, but he disobeyed so that he could help the peasants. He was granted bail and later on the case against him was dropped. Gandhi and his associates started gathering all sorts of information related to the Indigo contract and its mission. Later, a commission was set up to look into the matter after the inquiry was conducted. The planters were found guilty and were asked to pay back to the pigeons. Expecting refusal, they offered to pay only 25% of the amount. Gandhi accepted this too because he wanted to free the sharecroppers from the binding of the Indigo contract. He opened six schools in Champaran village and volunteers like Mahadev Desai, Narhari Parik and his son. Devdas taught them. Kasturba, the wife of Gandhi, used to teach personal hygiene. Later on, with the help of volunteer doctor, he provided medical facility to the natives of Champaran, thus making their life a bite better. A peacemaker, Andrews, wanted to volunteer at Champaran Ashram, but Gandhi refused as he wanted Indians to learn the lesson of self-reliance so that they would not depend on others. Gandhi told the writer that it was Champaran incident that made him to think that he did not need the British sir's advice while he was in